Hi folks, hope everyone's well. The other day I bought some tools from Amazon, some simple wooden tools, because we were going to do some clever foiling. Now we're still going to do some clever foiling, but in that bunch of tools I found this wooden pointy stick thing. And I took one look at that and all I saw was a needlefish body. So today we're going to try and turn this little tool into a needlefish lure. Will it work? I don't know, but we're gonna give it a go. So jump in, let's get on with the build. Okay, so I just held this down with some plasticine here and here. And I got my ruler lined up both points and the plasticine just stops this from rolling as you draw on it. And I drew out a line, wherever it is, there. Okay, that's good. That's our slot for our wire harness. Now I've got some 0.8mm stainless steel wire. I've already made this loop on here, so we're going to pop that in, measure it up. We want a little bit fiddly, but we're going to take our jeweler's pliers. Let's see how that looks. That'll do, bang on, I would say. So a little bit of super glue, just at the end there. We're going to lose this bit off the end here. So I need my rear hook hanger. go okay so we've got our wires in now we need to think about trying to get some weight in the back and we're going to use the Dremel so here we go we'll just Yeah, we're going to run a bigger burr through now. Oh, that's good. We've got a bit of a gap there, but uh, we're going to fill that. Okay, so we've got this guy. I'm now going to glue the the rest of the wires in. Just like this. And then I am going to fill this gap here with some cocktail stick strips. Now these are ultra fine and what I'm hoping is if I can press them in here. There, like so. Gonna get the pliers and just pressing them in. There we go, we're gonna cut off that. Covered. 
Now we need to fill this. Take some sawdust. Now we'll get some thin super glue. Okay, it's weighted, it's wired. Now I just need to tidy it up a little bit. Okay, we've got it starting to look pretty good. Now we just have to rub it down. So this is just 400 grit. So we're ready to go and give that a top coat of some sort. I think I'm gonna put a thin coat of UV resin on it. It's come out nice. It's got a, a sealing coat of resin on it and I'm just giving it a quick rub down just to make sure the paint's got something to stick to. So a bit of black just on the head there. And now we've got some grey which I'm just going to put down the back. So this is just post box red. pop a bit there so I've just sprayed some white here I've masked it off I've just sprayed a bit more white on the belly so there we go there's some white on the belly So we're ready to go and start foiling that. So first off, we're going to put on the body foil here. Now, how I'm going to do this, I'm going to take a strip of this. first thing we're going to do is this and then I'm going to get my bit of wood and I'm just going to press down and that's given us some lovely looking scales there and we've got a line so from next from the line I have this comb which is used for combing my rabbit. So next we're just going to line our guy up here very roughly. start for
Now we've got some much thicker, this is a lot thicker, this stuff. So I have a little design for the head there. We're just going to draw around that with these bodkins. can just see the shape here. So now we're going to cut that out. Just draw around that. Okay. So we're going to give it a, put the eyes on, give it a top coat, and then we can finish painting. Um, a couple of things I've noticed when I was using this new foil, this thicker foil, it's much easier to do these nice gill plates with the thicker foil. With the thinner foil, it wrinkles, it's really hard to get any detail. Bit of a learning curve, but really pleased with the effects of that. Punch. Okay, eyes on, now we're going to give it another top coat. Transparent blue.
Now that's come out. <laughs> I, hate, I say it so much, but that's come out really nicely. <laughs> it's really cool. It looks just like a little garfish to me, which is perfect. It sinks like any good needlefish, but when you tighten up, it comes to the top and you can make it on a slow straight retrieve as you as you re reel slowly its nose just breaks the surface and its back end wibbles um, which is a really really interesting action and of course if you jerk it you can get it to walk the dog um, and both those techniques will catch me bass so thank you ever so much for making it this far in the video if you liked it please leave me a thumbs up. Better yet, if you guys could subscribe, that would be amazing. And uh, I'll see you on the next build.